This is a review of the Gator steel drum case. Uh, it's the GPPC 2211 DPTP model. So that's the tilt and pull model. <clears throat> so this is the case for standard size steel drums. You can see my drum here. Uh, and my, my drum is a little uh, unusual in terms of size. It's a 23 and a half inch uh, rigid rim. So it's about an inch oversized from, from a standard drum. Uh, but it fits in this case because this my particular case was ordered with only half inch foam on the sides. The, the top and bottom still have the one inch. And if you order this normally for a standard steel drum, uh, I believe it will come with one inch all the way around. So here it is, you can see I've put on um, some pipe insulation, which is a cheap way to get a little extra padding, if, particularly if you're going to fly with it. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, I, I wouldn't use this. It's just not really necessary um, because the cushioning is, is pretty good. Um, so I'm going to put the, the lid on here, and we'll, I'll take the drum out in a little bit. <clears throat> but. First, some things to notice. Um, so there's a recessed sort of channel in the middle that adds rigidity, and there's this lip that goes all the way around, and you see the corners have extra protection, and this full lip on the lid goes all the way around. That adds extra strength uh, against, that's protection against crushing and wear and tear. And the whole case actually has some uh, water resistance, to it. Of course, you can't submerge it or anything, but um, rain, little rain shower was not going to hurt it. Um, and you can see on the bottom here, I'm going to actually set it down and let you see the, uh, the wheels here. Uh, they're about an inch and a half in, in diameter. Um, and see, they have ball bearings, look like they're pretty high quality wheels. Uh, they're great over f smooth surfaces and carpeting, so uh, shouldn't have any issue there. I would not try it on gravel. I would not even try that. <laughs> but uh, the other thing is to note, on the underside, there's, there's some ex added strength here on the bottom corner um, from edge to edge. Now, there's no lip like on the lid for extra strength all the way around, but just on the, on the bottom there. So one strap, and the strap length is probably like around 74 inches. Give you an idea of the circumference. So this is the tilt and pull mechanism. It's just basically a steel spring. Um, it's like a two piece unit, and this is fastened uh, to the, the, the inner wall. So you basically you pinch it, so it's like a, like a spring, really. You pinch it, and then you just raise it to its locked position. It only has two positions, up and down. That's it. So it's, it's very simple and kind of a foolproof thing. Uh, one thing that I, I'm not really a big fan of is because of this, this length, as it only goes maybe a fourth of the way down, when you go to pivot it, you can see that my case, of course, is loaded with the drums. You can see how much it pushes in. I don't think that's harming anything because there's the edge of the drum is here and then the bowl is, you know, or situated here. So it's sort of a void underneath this, but still, I don't like to see that much flex. I'd rather see this metal piece extend to the bottom so it didn't have that flex, but once you get it tilted, you can see it no longer has that flex in it. The weight is now pushing down this way. So in practice, it doesn't seem to pose an issue. It's just something that I don't really, I don't think I like the design of it as well. I mean, it looks durable more so than like a rollerboard type tilt and pull, but yeah, could be a little bit better, I guess. Um, aside from that, it has three handles, two side handles. Um, they're very strong, and they seem they're just riveted 
on, and the top one has a, um, a rubber uh, sleeve on it, because that's where you're mostly grabbing it. Uh, the empty weight of it is uh, 19 pounds. So actually put it on a little sheet here. So we've got, yeah, 19 pounds. And uh, there, yeah, like I have a tilt 10 degrees. I'll, I'll show you what I mean with that. That's just when it's standing. So internally it'll accept, you know, a pan is 25 inches in outside width and eight and a half inches in height. Um, external dimensions, and this takes into account the wheels and the tilt and pull mechanism. So 26 and 5 eighths width, 28 and a half inches high, 12 and a quarter inches depth. Now I think the ones, the pans that, or the cases that you can order directly from Gator vendors are much deeper than that. Um, so I would recommend getting them from uh, Alan Coyle at coildrums.com because his are specced out with foam and an appropriate depth. Um, so here's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to demonstrate the uh, the tilt. So hopefully you can see there's like 10 degrees of angle happening there, and that's just because of the wheels are situated on one side. Um, doesn't pose any problem, but it's it's noticeable. Um, and here's comparison with the the other models. <clears throat> So this is the model that I'm reviewing. <clears throat> the DPTP is the tilt and pull. Um, so if you have standard pan, be an inch foam all the way around. You also, they also have a model for 24 and a half inch pans and one for 26 inch. Now, these are the, the Gator numbers. They're, I believe this is basically a reference to internal width and internal height. So the these ones are be a lot deeper. Um, I don't know why you'd want that much depth, but they have two flavors, basically a standard and a deluxe. The standard one has, has no foam, but you could get quarter inch foam added and you can get custom depths and custom colors. Um, the deluxe models have a special foam divider, but doesn't say anything about how, how much thickness there is. Um, so not a lot of info. You probably have to pump the salespeople for info. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to set this down and um, unload my pan. So I'll just stow the handle there. side you can see uh, a half inch foam here and, and there's one inch of foam on the bottom on the bottom wall I told you that uh, I showed you the reinforcement area sorry the reinforcement area right here well this indent does come in a little bit can see it on the edges it doesn't make any difference but there is some right here and the rim of the pan does does um, come against this so I might add a little bit of extra foam here or piece or maybe situate a piece of that pipe insulation there to protect against this I don't think it's gonna scratch anything but I just want to have a little bit of protection on that So there it is, the Gator uh, Protector Steel Drum Case, uh, GPPC 2211 DPTP. That's a mouthful. So, thank you.